Pascal, do you remember me? I'm Sagan. It's been a while. Oh, hey, Sagan. I know I'm all behind the times and stuff, but uh, big congrats on the wedding. But why is Fair Ma asleep? She not feeling well? Well, actually, we're going to have a baby. Oh, how wonderful. <sighs> is she hurt? Lately, Ferma has found it difficult to eat. I tried to convince her that she must, for the sake of the child, if nothing else, and... It's unusual to hear of a woman losing her appetite this far into a pregnancy. Lately, she seems to be having trouble even getting out of bed. Come on, Sagan! You're gonna be a daddy soon! That means you gotta step up your game! Honestly... This all just happened so fast. We only decided to marry after we found out about the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. uh, hello there. Are you hurting? N no, I'm okay. I just worry that I'm not fit to be a mother. If you give birth, doesn't that make you a mother? It takes more than that. I have to protect the baby and make sure to raise it right. So what about a father? Do you have to give birth to be a father? Huh? Is that why you're upset? Sagan. It doesn't quite work that way, Sophie. <laughs> Men don't give birth. Sagan becomes a father when Ferma gives birth. Oh. Ferma, will you let me see the baby? You've never seen a baby before? Not really. How interesting. I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse Sophie. She says strange things sometimes. No, it's all right. In fact, I feel much less worried than I did a few minutes ago. R really? I'm sorry, Sagan. I think I've been taking you for granted. I've been so worried about motherhood, I never considered that you might be equally concerned. It's me who should apologize. You're the one carrying the lion's share of the burden. From now on, we'll face our problems together for the sake of our child. Yes. You'll have plenty to eat now, little one. I promise. Who are you talking to? To my baby. Would you like to try? Hello. It didn't answer. I don't think it likes me. Of course it does. It was quite a response, actually. <laughs> Here, put your hand on my stomach. Oh, it's moving. See? That's how it communicates. In fact, right now, I think it's hungry. I can get food. What does it want? Maybe some chocolate. The kind from the Amarcian Enclave. The stuff from the fountain? Okay, let's go to the fountain. Come on. Hey, wait a sec. That's your favorite food. <laughs> well, as long as you're feeling better. 
I guess we're off to the Amarcian Enclave. Sorry for the trouble. Take care. Therma, we brought you some chocolate. Oh, thank you. It smells divine. Uh, well, what's wrong, Therma? I... I think it's time. Oh my gosh, what? Uh, uh, what, what do we do? Like, help and stuff! Call a doctor! Call a veterinarian! Call someone! I don't think there's time! Uh, this is bad. Everyone, stay calm. If you keep yelling, the baby won't come out. Sophie's right, in her own way. Just keep your heads on straight and we'll all be fine. If it comes to it, I'll deliver the baby. What? Sharia, can you do that? Well, I saw several births while working in the relief organization. And besides, it's not like you're going to do it. I can help. Thanks, Sophie. Okay, hold on. Wait, we need, like, uh, hot water and stuff, right? Right. Can you boil some? You got it. Right, and I'll go try to find a doctor. What can I do? Let me think. Sheets, clean sheets, as many as you can find. Um, so, if you need me, I'll just be outside. No. You have to stay here with their ma. That's right, mister. You aren't going anywhere. Uh, say again? Hold on, for ma. I'm right here. It'll be all right. You'll be great, Sharia. I believe in you. Thanks, Sophie. Uh, uh, uh! Push, Verma. You're almost there. Come on out, baby. You can do it. It's a girl. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Welcome to the world, little one. Therma? Can I touch the baby? Of course. She's warm and soft. So this is a baby. It's okay, little one. This girl is your friend. Sagan, I want to name our new child, Sophia. Sophia. It's a good name. Let's call her that. Sophia. It's a name born from my name. In a sense, you're the mother of our daughter's name. I'm a mother? Hello, Sophia. I'm Sophie. I'm the mother of your name. Another peaceful day in Launt. It's all thanks to you and your hard work, Asbel. No. This is the result of all the years of labor my father put in. Now I see what a lordship means. Work done today might not take shape for another 10 or 20 years. Yeah. It definitely makes me wonder what I should be doing now to help everyone down the road. Hey, Asbel. I know it's not really my business, but the item shop proprietor complained of being low on stock because he can't get his wholesale permit renewed. What? But I thought I already signed all of this month's paperwork. Asbel, 
The soldiers are on my case for not receiving their salaries this month. I've told them it's not my responsibility, but... Wait, seriously? Asbel, Grandpa told me to tell you that paperwork is piling up in your study and you need to do something about it. <sighs> Man, have I really been away from my duties for that long? Come on, you'd better get back to your office. Yeah, I guess I'll head to the office. Stay strong, Asbel. Thank you. 